Welcome back to the channel guys, Splitting Wigs here with another video going over the PlayStation 4 and how to improve performance, packet loss, connection, lag, whatever, on a PlayStation 4 in Warzone. There's many things you can do that will help guys. Um, so if you go on to enjoy the video, please like the video, it helps out the YouTube algorithm a lot, and please subscribe if you get something out of it. I have enough watch hours to get monetized, but not enough subscribers, and that hurts right here guys. Anyway, if you want to support the channel in the meantime, go to my Teespring store, got some funny sayings on some merch, um, you know, so... You know, that's an easy way to get some merch and help out the channel. Anyway, so the first thing you can do and the first couple things are a little bit self-explanatory. I still go over them, though, because they're so important. And when when bad stuff's going on and you're playing Warzone, it is a super frustrating game. Any BR for that matter. But anyway, I did have some upload speed issues with my internet. I got to have a tech come out to my house a while back. So this is some insight from them. Right on this wall behind me is the box where the internet comes into my house. Find that box. Trace that coaxial cable the whole way from there into your modem any weird splitters that have been put in your house i mean you'd be surprised like direct and dish they'll put splitters and splitters and splitters on that you know you want to get rid of those if you can he did and then also check your ethernet cables because he said they do go bad from time to time and cause issues um and then also um check your firmware settings on your modem and router um i don't have any videos on that but look look on google and on youtube specific for your modem or router it'll show you how to check your firmware make sure that's up to date so if everything's going good and you get these weird spikes or weird moments it's usually your firmware or a bad ethernet cable guys so check that ethernets are ch cheap now you can get like a two pack for like nine bucks on ebay and you can replace it from your modem to your router and from your router to your system and run wired guys i know it's so easy to run wireless and the speeds usually when you test them are good but i'm telling you all the best players run wired for a reason it's much more stable guys so make sure that you're doing that um, now let's get into some of the stuff that you can you can do you know sort of yourself to to improve things when you come down you're going to have a long gaming session shut off your modem and router for two full minutes unplug them for two full minutes let them completely reboot plug them back in not just because that gives them a fresh start over to give you better performance out of the machine the hardware but that also if you do that often enough it keeps sending you know your internet provider that you're you're doing hard resets and they will make sure they keep an eye on your that's not a lie that they will send hits through your signal and check your signal more often than your neighbors and stuff like that if you're doing resets all the time that's a that's an inside information tip there but then also on your actual playstation guys one of the cool things about a playstation that people never really talked about is the rebuild database option from the safe menu what you do is is you hold in your playstation power button well, when it's off completely you when you go to turn on just hold on your power button f until it beeps twice once it beeps twice hold the uh, ps button on your controller it'll start up in the safe menu you scroll down to rebuild database and hit the x it'll say it takes up to a couple hours it, it never does guys four to six minutes full database rebuild everything's up it's it helps a lot guys so if you Reset your modem router and do a rebuild database. You're going to have a better experience playing for that session, I promise. And then the last free tip you can do, it doesn't cost you a nickel, is to do a uh, system restore and just wipe it. And then only download or install Warzone only and leave the rest of it empty. That is something else that will help for sure. Um, then I'll link at the end of the video three videos guys that will help they cost a little bit of money or you have to use stuff that's in your house already um, but i have a way to keep these cooler externally um, you can watch that video it'll be in the description and linked at the end of the video and then another thing guys you would be surprised the comments i get on the video of taking this apart and cleaning the fan it is so much easier than i ever thought and it'll be so much easier than you ever thought to to take this apart blow out the fan blow out the radiator and the reason that's important guys a lot of people don't realize why that's important if this thing gets hot the first thing that it's trying to cool is not just the th uh the thermal paste but also the power supply when the power supply gets hot it cuts power to the important parts in this and it will affect everything so that's why it's so important to keep these cool i never realized that until i started keeping them cool and man it improves like you wouldn't believe so watch that video linked at the end. Now the last one does cost a decent amount of money, but it is the most performance gain you can get on an older console, especially an OG PlayStation 4 like this. And that's to install, install 
an SSD and take out your hard drive. Uh, I have a full video on that. I'll link that in the description at the end as well. But you can go with the Samsung because it's a proven, guaranteed to be awesome product, about 90 bucks. You can get cheap ones on eBay. I can't vouch for them, but they are cheap. You can get like a $30, maybe $24 SSD on eBay for these and give it a go. They might be fine. My cheap eBay external hard drive worked perfect, so you might have some luck with that. Uh, but anyway, those are the things you can do. Watch the videos that I link. They will help you. And uh, hopefully, hopefully you got something out of the video. And if I did, catch you on the next one. Splitting wigs out.